Okay, just some quick thoughts on, on today. How do you think it went for you? Well, uh, for me personally, I thoroughly enjoyed the afternoon. Uh, for me, it was actually nice to get away from my desk for a yes. couple of hours. So that so was one positive. Yeah. But I think, and I think from what I'm hearing from people, people found it really informative. I thought the, vid the, the drama was so powerful. Yeah. It really was fantastic. And in terms of the whole agenda around raising awareness, I think that has real potential. Um, I think it was also really valuable that people had a chance to talk to, particularly the medical professionals, around some of the, the very basic questions around di early diagnosis and some of the processes and procedures that are, that are gone through in those very early diagnosis stage. But also some of the very, we got into some of the very sensitive issues about actually how you do get someone with dementia who might not want to recognise it, how you might kind of encourage them and get them to the GP practice. So, so all in all, I think it's been a really uh, fantastic afternoon. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. Okay, Janet, just have your, your reflections on today, any highlights for today? I think it's been a really, really helpful day. I think it's well put together. I think lots of people came and I hope they got lots of information and benefited from it. For me, I think the highlight was Philip speaking. He was very inspirational, and I think I really enjoyed that. I also enjoyed the play, because that was fun, but also very thought-provoking. So I think altogether it's been a really successful day, and I hope we can do another one before too long. Not until next year. Until next year, at least. Right, thank you very much. I think it was great. It was fantastic. I think the more awareness we raise in Richmond, the better it is, really. It's better for the patients with dementia, patients who don't know they've got dementia, and mainly also for the family and friends who deal with, with maybe strange behaviors or memory problems. It's really important they know where to ask for help. And Very well organized. Um, I think the Sunny Arts Group performance was very powerful. I think it was also quite good to get a celebration to raise the awareness. Yeah. But overall, um, as I always say, I think the more you inform people, make the awareness, empower them, and guide them to a service, it's better for a sort of for every dementia sufferer and the families to live independently as much as possible with this kind of devastating illness, which can take different courses. I do know that the central office are working with businesses to form something called the Dementia Action Alliances throughout the country. And the, the aim of the Dementia Action Alliances is to get big organisations together. It's a very, very new in its um, development. There was a panel London launch on Monday, actually. And it's really big organisations like the Met Police, um, Transport for London, you know, trying to get on big companies like John Lewis, the real um, employers of probably a number of people with dementia and a number of carers. And it's new, and I would hope that maybe issues like that would be addressed through the Dementia Action Alliance work.
or afternoon, Joe. Yeah, I think it's afternoon already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to Richmond and thank to you. Action on Memory Loss. And thank you ever so much for supporting this event. Mm. So, can you just tell us a little bit about you know why you're here and why it's important for you to support this event? Well, it's something very close to my heart. Uh, dementia. I've uh, seen it firsthand with a dear friend of mine, and also my fa my father had it. And uh, so. Uh, Jane Cotton, who's a celebrity organiser, um, she and I have been involved um, in the society for quite a few years now, so, yeah. so I'm glad to be able to come to a local event, so I've been all over the country okay. supporting it, and I've taken a walk in uh, a 10k walk in Brighton a couple wow. of weeks ago, yeah. okay. so whenever I can really, so I'm glad this worked out today. Quite busy though, right? so it's nice to be here. You live locally then? Yeah, just yeah. Up, the river, up the river, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. So, what, so what are you hoping to um, to get out of today? What are you hoping for in terms of yourself and what you want people to take away from today? I think the most important message today, for me anyway, is to make people aware of it. Mm -hmm. I was speaking to somebody earlier who might mention it when we when, 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 when do the talks. Uh, he was um, evicted from a bus mm -hmm. because the driver didn't understand what yeah. the problem was. You know, some people can mistake dementia for drunkenness or yeah. you know, they're on drugs or something, which is something completely wrong. So maybe, I don't know, maybe people should have some sort of ID if they, they haven't got it and they're out. Because nobody has to be kept away from the public zone, if you like. So uh, yeah, I think it's, um, I think a lot of, well, I mean, the research as well is so, so important, but they're still doing that, of course. I mean, that's, that's why um, the, the society, but um, I think, uh, the main message is to make people aware, to, to educate people. Yeah. I mean, it's ignorance really that that poor chap was, was thrown off the bus. Yeah. It's pure ignorance, and uh, so I think we need to, um, I think everybody should uh, be aware of the symptoms. So I think that, that's an important message for me today. Anyway. And that there's, there's, a, there's a big stigma um, attached to, to dementia. I think mm -hmm. having celebrities like yourself and you know, going out speaking in public about it, do you think that might help people do something about it much earlier? I think it will, yeah. I mean, there are a lot of things, medically speaking, that we don't know about. Well, tragically, my dear cousin Guy had a stroke recently, and mm -hmm. um, I didn't really know myself a lot about strokes. I knew about, I knew that there were strokes, but only, only since he sat, sadly, sadly had his. Have I been reading up on it and learning a lot more about it? Mm -hmm. uh, so I think probably the public should be made more aware mm -hmm. of things like strokes, dementia, etc. Yeah. Because they don't, people don't know, do they? Yeah. They're busy away with their lives. They say, oh, well, it's a terrible thing, dementia, but they don't really know the ins and outs of it, the symptoms, and, and the different degrees of it, of course, yeah. you know, different parts of the brain being affected, mm -hmm. um, and, and just looking out for the signs, really. Yeah. Well, they say, oh, poor old Gran, you know, she's. She, she's getting on a bit, she's, you know, she, forgot, she left the gas on you know, mm. and they set fire to the house. Well, yeah. It can be very dangerous if it's not recognised and yeah. treated. And of course it can be you know, treated in, in the early stages, can't it, these days, which, which is great. Exactly. Which years ago you would probably been put in some institution. Yeah. You know, so it's fantastic how it has progressed over the last few years. So I think as a, a well-known actor, if you like, I, uh, I just hope that we can spread the word and have great graceful awareness. No, thank you. Well, thank you so much for being here today. I'm really looking forward to hearing you speak. I'm a big fan of yours myself, so uh, you know, okay. it's nice to see you, you know, doing something different today and mm. um, saying you know, being local, I think it's, it's great that you're here. So um, thank you very much again. It's a pleasure. Thank you. And uh, yeah, many thanks to Philip. I think Philip's a true example of how what a great work the Alzheimer's Society, etc., do because you know it doesn't mean that if, if you do have it or any, any form of dementia, you can't kind of get out of there on, and, and uh, do then do things. Yeah, I think it's cool early, and uh, so uh, I think I think it's marvellous. Um, there are some charities that I support very strongly, and, and Alzheimer's is very personal to me because my my, my late father sadly had dementia towards the end, and uh, yeah, so it's something close to my heart. I think it went really well, and I'm delighted that some people um, in the audience who seem like they were probably carers were able to ask questions and get clarification around medical issues and support for themselves, and we've been able to signpost people 
to make sure that they're able to get that support um, going forward. So I think it's an excellent event and uh, it was well attended and um, hopefully people will be beginning to learn a bit more about dementia. It's a fantastic event, I uh, really enjoyed every minute of it, particularly talking to people coming to my stand. I think a particular highlight was the uh, theatre group, I think that really brought home the realities um, of living with a person who has dementia and also living with the condition itself. Um, speakers are very inspiring, particularly Philip, who's living with dementia. I also enjoyed hearing um, from John Altman as well and um, why he supports the Alzheimer's Society. I thought today was very informative. I, I think the drama was very good. And I think that um, I think that's for people to um, have the information uh, and to see what's available, what local resources are available is, is, very, is very good. It would also be good to have it um, uh, passed on to businesses and let businesses be made aware of what resources are available for their staff. Yeah. Sunny Arts, your reflections on, on the day, how, how do you think it went from oh. you, your perspective? It's a fantastic yeah. drama piece as well, and lots of good feedback. Well, as I said, just just saying, it was lovely that the we got feedback from the from carers and uh, that they what we did they felt yes it was true to life. Yes. That was lovely. That's the, really important to us that we, we we make it as truthful as possible. Yeah. So that, that was really pleasing. Yeah. So how about you guys? Well, we thought the same. Yeah. All the people I've spoken to have all more this someone who's got dementia, yes. and they say that what we did what was written was so true to life. Yeah. Mm. I think it was a it did touch a touch a nerve yeah. but for a lot of people. I think mm. you know to, to have a topic such as this and put across through drama, I think it, it helps people to talk about it so yes. much more. Um, either in events like this or to, to go home and, and talk to, to friends and family. Yes. Um, and, I, and I think it's, it, it's helpful, I think, to, to yeah. do it either through drama or you know, through, through television. And um, we need to get more out into the community. So we'll yeah. be doing more of this, of this over the next sort of few months, I think. We hope so. We'd yeah. love to. Yeah, we'd We're love willing. To. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, we, what we like to do is. Prim uh, um, promote debate as well so at the yes. end we it's really good as we say had some people saying it, it was too too dark and some yeah. people saying it wasn't dark enough was yeah. and that's a very interesting discussion yeah when you get that sort of discussion happening yeah. uh, in after it, with in the middle of a conference it's really yeah. nice and then you get to the deeper levels of the truth yeah it's really good and, and also people are very honest yeah. and, 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 and the drama helps that happen, yeah. honesty, which is what we, we work for, yeah.